Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So now guys this one is set to be a battle of the ages. This one transcends politics. This is a case of two people are uh, contending to be the alpha male of a particular society. Emo state I am talking about as guys I bring you this. ex emo governor Rochas Okorocha arrested so hopuzon dimma now is now using the full weight of the office that has been gifted him by the supreme court uh, of nigeria so he is using the weight the full weight of that uh, office to weigh down upon anybody that crosses his path and the first person to cross his path of course is the immediate ex-governor of that state who looted as we all know that state for eight years solid so even a criminal like like a uh, hope uzodema is finding it difficult to stomach the level of looting that took place under uh, rota sokorocha to the point that he's now trying to recover a lot of the things or as much of the things that he can recover from the okorocha family you remember that emeka ehidio has started this process but then they swiftly replaced him with a uh, hope uzodema but when hope uzodema looked at the books in emo state the atrocities were such that he could not just uh, let it go. Again, the headline ex Imo governor Rocha Sokorocha arrested. So now let's now see what the latest installment in the never ending drama in Imo State is. The police in Imo State on Sunday arrested a former governor of the state, Rocha Sokorocha, after a fracas over the ceiling of a hotel belonging to Mr. Okorocha's wife by the state government. A photo being circulated on WhatsApp showed the former governor sitting along a corridor of a building that looks like a police station. Mr. Okorocha's aide, Ebere Nzuwaji, confirmed this on Sunday evening that the former governor has been arrested and is being detained at the police headquarters. In a worry, he has been arrested by the police on the order of the governor, Mr. Nzewuji said. The police are telling him that he is under arrest and it is so clear now that he's been arrested and he is being detained. Mr. Okorocha, a serving senator, is accused of forcefully unsealing his wife's hotel, Royal Spring Palm Hotel Oweri, which was sealed two days ago by the Commissioner for Lands and Physical Planning on behalf of the Imo State Government. The Commissioner said the hotel was built without permission on government land, but Mr. Okorocha's aide, Mr. Inzewuji, denied that the senator tried to unseal the property. When he arrived at the premises, they were confronted by thugs who had guns and machetes and they were attacking him and his entourage. He, Okorocha, can't go there to make trouble. He went to ask questions. A staff member was beaten up. Even the hotel's guest still had their property inside the hotel. He wasn't going to unseal the property, the aide said. Mr. Okorocha's spokesperson, Sam Enuwemeldo, later issued a statement on the incident saying Governor Hope Uzodema's aide on special duties, Chinasa Nwaneri, led the talks that they claimed attacked the senator and his entourage. He said the governor's aide was backed by the police in the state. The police spokesperson for Imo State, Ikweku Orlando, declined comment on the incident, saying he was not briefed on it. Correspondents could not immediately speak with the Commissioner for Information in the state, Declan Emulamba, as he did not respond to calls and a text message from correspondents. Since he left office as governor in 2019, Mr. Okorocha has been having a political battle with his successor, Governor Hopuzo Dema. Both men are members of the Nigeria's ruling party, APC. 
Photos of the fracas showed damaged SUVs and other vehicles near the sealed hotel. A man covered with blood in one photo has been identified as Mr. Okorocha's police orderly. Mr. Okorocha's aide, Mr. Nzewaji, said the feud between the senator and Governor Uzodema is all about political vendetta and witch hunt by the latter. It is all about political vendetta and witch hunt, which is not far from the 2023 presidential election. Senator Okorocha is seen as the brightest star to come from this part of the country, and some people outside the region are using his brothers there to embarrass him, he said. Mr. Inzewaji called on President Mohamed Buhari and political leaders in the country to intervene in the feud between Okorocha and Governor Uzodema. So, Governor Uzodema and Arocha Sokorocha, I mean, a plague on both their houses, I'm sure, is what the Imolites would uh, say to this particular situation as they sit back and uh, watch with their popcorn and just laugh at these two rather comical individuals. So, uh, there's nothing really to recommend any of these two elements to anybody in Imo State. Rocha Sokorocha, of course, a very lost looter. Look at the hotel that he just built for his wife in that state look at the opulence where, where is the money coming from and that is just one of our thousands of our assets that he has within that state when he used the whole of the eight years of his tenure to just feather his own nest and make himself fatter especially in his uh, bank account this is exactly what he did he just looted that whole place for eight solid years to the point that hope uzodema who is no saint himself and rather and far from being a saint he's actually a steeped in the war criminal himself Hopuzo Dema. so even an Ogbologbo like Hopuzo Dema himself could not bear the level of looting that he saw in the books when he perused the books of our of, of our emo state to see exactly what happened in the tenor of our Okorocha to the point that this guy he's just gifted his wife a uh, government land and then used government uh, funds to build a hotel on it and then handed over the keys to his wife. This is exactly what Rocha Sokorota did. This guy uh, is just unbelievable. It is unbelievable, but it is not unusual within the Nigerian space because we are focus on well, we're focusing rather on uh Rocha Sokorocha now, but replace uh, Rocha Sokorocha and Imo State with any other state, with Bono State, with Ekiti State, with Anambra State, with uh, Delta State, with any state in the Federation, and the same story repeats. These people, they get in there and they just weigh as much of the uh, state's asset into their personal assets as they can. The ones that they can liquidize, they liquidize it because it's easier to run with the money than to run with the assets, as we can see now with uh, what uh, Hope Uzodema is doing. But what Hope Uzodema should do, if he really wants to follow through, is to seal that hotel, uh, get a judgment to take possession of it by the uh, uh, Imo State government, and then sell it off. So sell it off and then get the monies back into the Imo State coffers. Because if he holds on, holds on rather to that uh, hotel, by the time his tenure expires, the next person that comes in will just give it back to Rota Sokorocha and that will be the end of it. So that is why the Nigerian government actually is now looking to auction off uh, seized assets now from looters. Now what they tend to do at the federal level now is that once they recover a seized asset and get the judgment or Although with the, the new EFCC guy, he's still selling everything without a court judgment. But then, of course, the new uh, EFCC guy is a thief, of course. But really, the template, the policy of the Nigerian government is once those assets are recovered and there's a judgment to... Uh, put the ownership to the government, the government then immediately, immediately rather auctions it off so that then that uh, asset is gone permanently from the looter and there's no way of reversing it back. So this is what they should do in Imo State with all of the assets that they're recovering from Okorocha. So if they auction it, then they can use some of the monies that he stole from the state to come and try and buy uh, what he stole from the state back and then maybe some of that money then can come back to
in most state conversations in the comment section two fighting but two fat boys of course in emo state uh, who are fighting and there's nothing more comical than watching two fat 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 boys uh, fight come share thought about all this with me in the comment section but before you come into the comment section to engage click on the red subscribe button so it turns gray the bell button notifies you every time i drop a new video click on like as well because that helps with the youtube algorithm once you've done all the clickings come join me then in the comment section hope who's on dima versus uh, rochas or korocha a plague on both their houses i say what says you so i'll leave you here carry this conversation with you in the comment section but here I say, peace.